So this cue has a spring right in the middle of it. Here's why and what it actually does. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. Quite a big consideration when buying a cue is purchasing one of the right size. Shoulder length is usually considered optimum so this one is a little bit short but more dramatically about where you'd find the join on a three quarter length cue there is a spring. So is it possible that this spring will help you cue the ball straight? And the answer to that is no, not in any way. It even makes it difficult to screw the ball back. So what's the point of it? Well, what it actually is, is a 360 Pure Q stroke trainer and they've been around a little while now. In fact, here's some grainy old footage of Steve Davis trialing one about 10 years ago. And the whole purpose of it is to help you deliver the cue in a straight line by making it impossible to do anything else. I actually can't remember if there was a reason why mine wasn't finished properly and looks nothing like the cue Steve was playing with at the time or that they're selling now. But I'm sure players like Dylan from Ho Chi Minh and Vietnam are less interested in how the cue actually looks and more interested in what it actually does and what it can be used for. So that being said, how does it actually work? The way it works, if you push the cue through straight, the spring remains taut and it's as though you're playing a shot with any other cue. However, deliver the cue badly and the spring won't stay taut, exaggerating any cueing errors. What's important is it's cueing errors it picks up rather than alignment errors and that makes a big difference, especially when you want to play any shot with side spin. What's important to point out is you don't have to play every single shot in the centre of the cue ball. If you actually play the shot with side spin, it doesn't make the spring react at all as long as you're pushing the cue through straight. So you can still play shots with side, so long as you cue them all right. This means you can actually attempt every single shot on the table with this cue, but what sort of shots will it help you the most with? Now you'd think it'd be helpful when you're playing longer straighter shots and you'd be right but there's actually far more to it than that even though you have to cue really precisely with these shots but it can also really help with your cueing if you're trying to put backspin on the ball and you squeeze a bit too tightly and put downwards pressure on the shot that makes your cue snap up in the air with a spring and prevents you actually getting the backspin on the ball the only way you can actually get enough of a reaction out of it is if you strike smoothly through the bottom of the ball and this can really help you over time. Learning to put backspin on shots with this cue is a guaranteed way of improving your cueing and your cue power because you have to connect with the white so cleanly in order to do so and you'll find when you go back to your normal cue screwing the ball back almost feels completely effortless and you'll find you're playing shots with far less power and getting a far greater reaction from them and if you just go to do some regular practice with this cue it really won't be long before it starts finding errors on shots you didn't even realize you had problems with the only problem is sometimes it can be hard to tell if you're missing shots because you're cueing them badly or just because you're not playing with your actual cue. And that's especially true if you're playing any of these shots with side spin because another tip and cue is never going to react in the same way as your own. That being said, when you start delivering this cue straight and the balls start going in the pockets, it really starts to build your confidence. But I'm sure what players like Raddick from Cork in Ireland really want to know is if it's actually worth practicing with this cue and if I think you should give it a try. I got this a few years ago now and as it is a little bit rough around the edges I really wasn't expecting it to work that well. And it really can do all the things I explained, help with a straight delivery, increase your cue power and find those shots that you might not realise you're struggling with. The only problem is, it's not my actual cue, and that means it doesn't have the same tip, it doesn't react in the same way that my cue would. So sometimes I'm not sure if I'm missing a pot because I'm cueing it wrong or because it's not my cue. So would I buy it again? Well, probably not, and that's not because it isn't good or useful. 
It's just that I don't use it anywhere near as much as I probably should. And that's a real shame because in a number of ways this thing is actually very helpful. And if you want to find out more about the tricks to straight queuing and playing shots with side spin, then why not try both of these videos? And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. And visit the website. See you later.